Thank you so much for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker at True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker in the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker in True Light Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I count that as animal waste. <laughs> because I'm trying to reach a goal. Yeah. I'm pressing for the mark. Why? I'm trying to reach a goal. Yeah. What is that goal? Christ Jesus. Okay.
church and serve God is good. Yes. We are able to cast aside burdens and trials and tribulation. We are able to set aside thoughts that should not be there. Yes. Thoughts that are not correct. And even though we are in a natural body, sometimes things will arise. Yes. But once we get caught up in the spirit, you know, that's why God said make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. Hang on where I'm going here. When we sing in like the heavenly voices and play like in the prophet's band, we are creating an atmosphere of joy and harmony. Yeah. Joy and a togetherness. Yeah. This tends to lift up a negative contact and places the positive on top of the negative. God knew what he was doing. He's a master psychologist. Amen. He knew what he was doing when he said, make a joyful noise to the Lord. Yes. All ye gates. Now, anytime you come to church, you got to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Yes. Because, first of all, as I said, I uh, think yesterday, the burden or the warfare, the battle is really not ours. Yeah. It's between God and the adversary whom he created to be an adversary Amen. and to try the faith of the faithful. Right. You know, you wouldn't have faith if it were, didn't have to be tried. Amen. So in order to exemplify a faith walk, you got to be tested yeah. because that's what proves the faith. Faith means unswerving belief in something that may not be seen or touched. Yeah. May not be, as I said, tangible. But it's there. Lord. I know it's there. Amen. Brothers and sisters, in this warfare and in this critical day, you got to learn how to come to church and, 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 and just start getting happy. Amen. 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 Bump from the choir. Amen. 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 Bust out the head up by the choir. Yeah, by the hand of the Lord. Get up. Stop this. Get in the spirit. Oh, yeah. Get in the spirit. Yeah. And take us alive. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You dead without the spirit. Yes. And brothers, this again. This, these trials that we go through had already been, I won't say prearranged, but God knows what lies beyond the bend. Amen. He knows what each individual goes through. Yeah. So I'm saying to the individual tonight, you got to make your calling and your election sure within yourself. Yeah. you got to believe the Bible, not because you constantly hear the word taught, 
preach. You got to believe this thing. You got to take it inside of you and lock it up. Because again, in the future days ahead, the test can be so severe until you will actually scratch your head and say, now Lord, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no business going through all this much. What have I done? Amen. Well, first of all, you have not done anything. That's it, never ask the question, what have I done? Amen. What if I just didn't go for it? Amen. And defend the people. Yes. Defend the faith. Yes. With your life if necessary. Amen. Now, why didn't God call a grown adult man Mordecai? Well, Mordecai, aren't you going to do it? God didn't call him to do it. God called him to tell Esther what to do. Amen. And me and my handmaids also gonna fast. Yeah. So she told him, uh, yeah, you told me what to do, I got to go. But I'm telling you what to do. You got to go to church and start fast and what I'm getting ready to do. Not what you getting ready to do, what I'm getting ready to do. Now if you take this in the individual context, God has chosen everyone in this latter day to have the spirit of Esther. To go before that wicked devil yes. and tell him what you must do. Yes. Yes. And that is to turn God's church loose yes. and let the freedom of the Holy Ghost have its perfect way. Amen. Now people are not going to always accept a gospel message. Okay. Had an opportunity to talk to a lawyer today, I don't call no names. And she said she was a minister too. And I said, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we began to discuss certain things, but I, I'm way too wise to walk into any kind of trap. Amen. 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 <laughs> Don't try to beat me into a trap. Because I saw that a long time ago. <laughs> so I said, mm-hmm. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I left it at that. That's right, Brother Lord. Is that the Bible says something to do with your adversary? Amen. 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 She still don't know where I'm coming from. Amen. Because she don't know me. Amen. She has no idea of the concept of really who I am. Amen. I'm not just any preacher. All right, Brother Lord. Amen. Sometimes you have to stay of discernment, you ought to know certain things. Amen. Because God reveals it through the Spirit to certain people. Not everybody, Amen. but to certain people. Yes. So again, sometimes you just have to be wise as a servant and harmless as Amen. So, uh, in our journey, brothers and sisters, we're going to be tested from every front and every which way. And when you see opposition rises up against us that is to really try to humiliate you and yep. force you into a position uh -huh. where you know it's wrong but it, 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 it plays with your mind yeah. Yeah. devil is a mind manipulator yeah. he, 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 he's a psychiatrist too you know because yeah. yeah. he, he don't have no physical strength no, no he, devil cannot make you sick That's yeah. right, Lord. but he worries so much until you get sick he plays with your mind. This is why the Bible says that you have to be renewed in the spirit of your mind and think on things that are positive. Think on good things, positive yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. Don't never dwell on things that are negative and that can cause you to worry and be depressed about. Yeah. All right, amen. That is not healthy. That is not good. First of all, as I said before, it creates a lack of faith. Now, uh, let, let's take a look in uh, Philippians chapter 3. Uh, I have that passage. Uh, you, you jump right at verse 10. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death, that by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, 
Now, Paul is saying that in this race for perfection, he has not yet reached perfection, but he keeps pressing and striving on. Now, I want you to back up to verse uh, uh, 7. But well, what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ. Well, for what things were gained to me, those things I counted as lost. Paul was a very intelligent man. He sat under the teaching of Gamaliel, one of the scholars of, in that dispensation time. Uh, he was, his father was a tent maker, yeah. which would be equivalent, I said, to a, a, a contractor today, yeah. building contractor. Paul had suffered, he had an education. He had a whole lot of things going for him. Yet God chose him to get rid of all of that and pick up the cross and follow after him and teach the gospel, which really in that dispensation time would probably be just as much uh, unpopular as it is today. Amen. Now watch in verse 8. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things. I count what? I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord. Yes. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things. Now, Paul was speaking about materially. Yes. He gave everything. Amen. Amen. His position in society, he was a Pharisee, set on one of them council. Mm -hmm. he, he was a man of prestige. He had, was a man of wealth. Amen. He had a family. He had everything going for him. He had, uh, 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 you might say, degrees, because as I said, he said uh, under Gamaliel, and when you finish that, you you were considered uh, a person of substance, yes. Yes. a person of uh, uh, who sat underneath a scholar. Yes. So he had, you might say, a PhD. All right, Amen. Amen. All right now, now, but he says again, read verse 8 again. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord. When you come to church and you get through the praise service and the worship service to get the church in the right atmosphere and to show God your reverence for Him, then you begin to get in a place where you can learn the word of truth. Yes. Develop faith. Develop a substance within you that can allow you to be anchored where a wind comes, it ain't gonna shake you. Amen. Ain't gonna turn you around. Amen. Ain't gonna make you get disturbed. Well, if that one left and that one talking about me. <laughs> and, and and you all having a pity party about that. Amen. Thanks from the source. Yeah. And then Amen. when you think of the source, Look where they at, and look where you at. Amen. Amen. How possibly can you want to be where they at, and they really want to be where you at? <laughs> oh, <laughs> by the renewing of your mind, Amen. you got to get this thing in you mentally, which literally means spiritually. Amen. Yes. Yet, doubtless, I count all things but lost for the what? Excellency of the knowledge. Of now, Christ. the excellency means the perfection yeah. of the knowledge of Christ, Amen. my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb that I may win Christ. <laughs> I count them as animal waste Amen. because I'm trying to reach a goal here. Amen. I'm pressing forward to my why? I'm trying to reach a goal. Yeah. What is that goal? Christ Jesus. Okay. I'm trying to do something. I'm striving for it. I haven't got the because we're still in this earthly vessel. Earthly, earthly body can mess up any time. Amen. If you don't keep your mind in the right place. Amen. It's not, I won't say it's easy to backslide, but it's really not that difficult to backslide. Amen. Once you allow your mind to drift in a certain direction and it is influenced. Amen. By someone you kind of hold in an esteem, mm -hmm. someone who you feel is popular, yes. and someone you kind of want to, you know, they really got something going for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if they're not in your place, Amen. what possibly could they have going for them? Amen. Why do you think they? 
they want to get you out of holiness yeah. is because they out. And the devil always loves company. Right. One thing he does like. <laughs> it's lonely. Amen. It, 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 that's why they have what they call dope houses to go to. That's yeah. right. Dope addict really don't want to be alone. Nope. He may want to put that needle in by himself, but when he get that needle in, he wants to be around somebody who's in the same position he's in. That's right. That's right. That's so they can talk foolishness. Yes. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's because they be talking about the foolishness. Yes. They already in a daze. Yes. <laughs> so they want somebody else that they can relate to who's in a daze just like them. Yes. Yes. Then they can all talk about when they get that $100,000, what they're going to do. Amen. <laughs> Glory. To win Christ, you have to count material things as loss. Amen. Your sacrifices, your third Sunday, your second Sunday, all of this is a part of a goal we are trying to attain. And God put that past about uh, bring all the tithes and the uh, offering into the storehouse. Amen. Say it the Lord, not say it the prophet. Amen. Say it the Lord. And then prove me herewith, say it the Lord, if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. Amen. Now, the blessing is very complex. Because we think a blessing is, I'm going to go to the mailbox and there's a check for $10,000, $5,000. Oh, you know God is good. Yeah. But that ain't always the blessing. Amen. Your blessing is when you woke up this morning. Amen. Amen. Nobody did it. If we took it for granted. Amen. Oh, yeah, not me. But one day it's going to be you. Amen. Amen. One day it's going to be me. That's right. I don't care how we strive. Amen. For what we talk about one day. Amen. It's going to happen. Yes. But God has a timetable, but the righteous can reach and pray to God and turn a situation around, even though it may be in the book of life. Amen. I'm saying in this context, Hezekiah, yeah. his time was up. Now God, in his mercy, said the prophet to let him know, get things right. You, you, you got this undone, maybe you got to make a wheel out here, or this, that, and other because you got a few days left. Hezekiah petitioned God. And it's important here. He prayed and said, I don't want to die now. And not, not next week either. Or next month. Amen. Things I got to do. Amen. And I'm your servant. I've been faithful. Amen. Now what you going to do about it? <laughs> he did something about it. Amen. So the prophet go back and tell me. I'm ready. Everything's all right. Amen. How about 15 more years? All right. Now, Hezekiah said, No, I, 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 I'd rather have 30. <laughs> and I believe God would have given him 30. Amen. But he said, How about 15? And Hezekiah must say it's all right because that's what God gave him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, prayer can change his things. Yeah. But if you don't have a focus on what you are about in Christ Jesus, then all of this is, is in vain. Yeah. So get your mind right. Don't let the devil play mind tricks with you. Don't ever let the devil put anger in you. Amen. And especially against your brother and your sister. Stop that. Amen. You see, that, that it's dangerous. Yes. Because the moment something like that can happen, what if God decides to split the sky? Amen. All right. And then just at that moment, you got mad at your brother and your sister. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. It's too late to change. Amen. All right. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Amen. And never plan or plot to scheme ahead of God. Right. Right. Never, never try to placate a situation where I am independent. Yeah, I go to church and this, but I'm independent because I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm just going to preach it, but uh, uh, no, he don't tell me what to do, but he don't ruin my life. I do. All right. <laughs> and not because I want to, because God told me to. Amen. Amen. Obey them that have the rule. 
yeah. over you. And he said he chose pastors after his own heart Amen. and sent them to the people. Amen. Now, pastors after his own heart, that don't mean all pastors. That's pastors after his own heart. That's right. Amen. Amen. As Gloria was telling me today, she said, I've gotten so many preachers and uh, they uh, were stealing money and doing this and doing that and the court went before judges and getting probation and parole and all that. I said, yeah, but not me. <laughs> I said, you don't know my background. I kind of give us my background. I said, I've been married 50 some years. Amen. Amen. And wherever I've been, you can't you know the truth. Yes. Yeah, I teach the bell covering. Yes. He said, oh yeah. I, I, it's Bible said, oh yeah, I know. It's Bible. Uh, and we teach holiness. Amen. And you know it's not proper. And I told her why. Amen. I told her why all this exodus taking children all that. I told her. Yes. I said because the feminist movement, which is nothing wrong with it, was submarined by the lesbian yes. movement. Yes. And now it's the lesbian movement that has really taken control over the feminist movement. They use that as a springboard. Yes. Now, you, 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 feminist movement ain't nothing but the lesbian movement now. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. And let's be not like right. I don't care what they say. Amen. Right. And they hate marriage more. That's right. Lord. Right. And they don't like a family structure. Yeah. 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 She knew I was right. Uh -huh. Amen. If she ever said if you're right, I know I'm right. Amen. I'm saying, brothers and sisters, when you go to court and they hate us, and they're going to try every way to manipulate a way to cause us to either break down or bow, submit to that iron fist of the federal government that's now controlled by lesbian sodomites. That's right, Lord. Amen. And if you don't break, they'll try to break you. But yeah, listen, how are you going to break God? Amen. You can't break the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You get the Holy Ghost in us. We have a hope. We've got a hope based on a covenant promise Amen. that God made to his church. Amen. And once you understand that, and once you understand, you can't count nothing in this material sense, this material world, as any type of gain, cause it it, 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 it be taken away from you. Amen. You look around and wonder what happened. Amen. <laughs> it's the world. Amen. All right. But I thought, no, you ain't thinking right. All right. Nothing matters but the kingdom of God. Nothing whatsoever. And I'm saying now, again, if you got some money stored under the rug, you better hurry up, get it out, bring it to the leader. Amen. And say, uh, uh, I, I, I was wrong. Uh, uh, but I was thinking, no, don't make no excuse. Just say here. Amen. Just don't take this on my heart. Without the word, then you wouldn't have any uh, 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 mobility for that to saturate in you to cause you to have a change of heart. Amen. So again, set your affections on things above and not on things down here. Amen. Now again in this text I'm trying to show you, Paul said I count everything but loss for the excellency. That's man, that's deep there. Amen. He, he, he know how to word. Amen. He know how to word the word. Yeah. For the excellency, yeah. for the perfection, the highest of Christ. Yeah. This is what I'm striving for. Yeah. I want to be, I want to be completely perfect. Yeah. So I got rid of everything. Yeah. At the end, even his life, mm -hmm. apostle in his 30s, had his head cut off by a devil. Yeah. Nero, Emperor of Rome. That's something to think about. 
But again, his final words, I fought a good fight. Amen. Amen. No, 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 no pride for me. No, everything's fine. Mm -hmm. What? Everything's fine. Right. <laughs> Pastor got beat and said, it's, it's joyful. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me you're some kind of sadistic person? Mm -hmm. No, but I count it joy because I could go through this to prove something to Christ Amen. that I'm still not going to bow. Amen. I'm still not going to give up. I'm my kid, do what you want to do to me. Do this and do that. Fire me from my job and put a devil up who ain't, I know don't know half as much as me. And ain't living nothing. But I'm still going to serve. Why? Because I can't even kill things in an animal way. Amen. Right. And that's all true. Praise God. And they ain't going to let this, this wicked corporate system ain't going to let you get rich no way. That's right, man. And make you work. On Sunday. Amen. Why? Because they don't want you to go to church. That's right. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's Destroy the labor union. Mm -hmm. So you can't go to nobody and say, I'm a minister. I can't, I can't, I can't work on Sunday. Amen. It's mandatory. Yeah. Okay. Mandatory? What you mean? I mean you get fired if you don't come in. Mm -hmm. yeah. No argument. You fired. Mm -hmm. I got a family. Don't care. Come to work then on Sunday. Amen. Animals. That how they treat humanity today yeah. as animals. Yeah. You got to be there. You got to do this. If a if a foreman don't like you, you got to kind of placate him, mm -hmm. or he'll write you up. Uh huh. It's sad. Yeah. How can you make it without God? You can't. That's why I say you don't stash nothing. Amen. You don't save nothing. You don't try to make some kind of plan independent from the church. Amen. And respect the leader who's teaching you. And don't let nobody talk about your leader. All right. Nobody. It's not a judge ain't good enough to say something about your leader. Who is he? You got to scheme with the people. Yeah. If you go in the court, I'll stand. Uh -huh. Yeah, I stand too. But I hope you don't never get out of line with me. So I sure do. <laughs> I show sure yes. in the highest esteem they need. Amen. Amen. That's right. So Amen. Amen. But I'm also wise. Amen. So, but, so, so understand, brothers and sisters, this is a race that you can't necessarily always just talk about it. Sometimes, what would Evangelist say? You got to talk it and then you got to walk it. Amen. Yeah. You got to actually live this thing. Amen. Put your heart, mind, and soul in the church. Amen. Completely. Be sold out. Completely. Is that a rich man? He wanted to go to heaven. He had no question in my mind. That's why he went to God. That's right. And know who he was going to. Because he called him Master. Yep. Amen. He may not know he was God in the flesh, but he knew he was a rabbi. Yes. Amen. Ask him, what must I do? Amen. And God played with him for a moment with his mind. Amen. He said, I've done all that. God already knew you had done all that. <laughs> then he hit him right between his eyes. Mm -hmm. Go sell everything you have and come back. <laughs> yeah. He knew the man was wealthy. Yeah. And he knew the man cherished certain things. He knew the man had a stash. Yep. All right, bro. <laughs> You know your stash is right now. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But he wanted to keep that stash, didn't he? Amen. And he turned his back on eternal life. That's the key. He turned his back on eternal life because he walked away from God. Amen. You can walk away from God right today because he sent the word. You don't have to come in person at the form now. He sent the word, didn't he? Amen. Yes. And you have to obey the word. And you have to obey the leader. So once we understand that this is a complete sellout, and you can't look at current events and say, well, wait a minute. Now, Lord, I done prayed about this thing. How come this happened? And these people left the church. It'll make you think. What well, didn't they do Job the same way? Amen. Job, what in the world did you do against God? Look at us. 
We ain't lost nothing. Amen. The thing's going good. And you lost everything. Joe told me to sound foolish. That's right. I know. And I've been dealing with this. I know. Yeah, you can say what you want to say and talk to me all kind of ways, but I know. White got out of line, I know. Lord. I'm going to know. I'm going to wait for that. I'm not going to complain. Hey man, I'm not going to go and get high. Amen. Get drunk, stay drunk until, until I die. No, I ain't going to do that. Amen. I ain't going to kill myself either. That's right. We get some change stuff. All this stuff, all this, no friends, no wife, no place to go, nobody to turn to, but I'm going to wait right here. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that Job never sinned with his mouth. He never judged God foolishly. That's right. He never said, you, you're responsible for this. Jeremiah did. He said, but you, you, you're bigger than me. Amen. <laughs> But you know, I was honest. Yeah. But so would you. Yeah. Point B, the church. There are things that are going to happen we don't like. But you can't hold God accountable because He already told you you're going to go through these things. Hated above all nations. Mother against father, father against son. He told you these things are going to happen. Wives come against you yeah. and lead the church. Yeah. And because you won't lead the church, oh, they really gonna they really gonna come at you. Yeah. You can get harbor lights, green lights, DSS, DDS, and all the rest of them. And when God getting ready, he gonna knock everyone off the yeah. and throw down kingdom for their sake. Said so. yeah. 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 Ooh, you, don't, you don't want to leave. You, 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 you want to repent. Amen. Amen. Go get right. Amen. Get right. Watch things go out. You got to you got to make your call in your election show. Amen. He started crying and talking, and then called back and said, "You want to repent." Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, church. This is a struggle. But when God has showed you that it's a struggle, and he told you if you got faith to believe, everything that you have lost in this natural, he'll multiply it in the hereafter. Yeah. Yeah. So since we don't have anything to do down here, because the corporate system is not going to let you get to where they're at. Otherwise, they wouldn't be where they're at if they ain't got some mules pulling that plow. Amen. I was sharing with someone yesterday. You punch the clock, you make the car, but where they at? They down in the, in the Bahamas somewhere. Amen. Counting the money. Amen. And drinking iced tea. Amen. Amen. And worrying about whether or not it's going to rain. <laughs> on their party or something. Yeah. <laughs> they worry about. Amen. It's not fair. It's corrupt, it's, it, it's indecent, Amen. and then charge people interest yeah. Amen. for money that they cause you to borrow yeah. because they keep, keep you in a financial bracket to where you have to borrow from the institution. Yeah. Right. Then they charge you the interest. Yeah. But when they, when Luciano, Lucky Luciano and them, and them mafia people doing that, they call it loan shark. Yeah. They put him in prison, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Sell you a car and tell you, don't worry, you ain't got to pay no down payment. <laughs> Give me this new car and drive around. Yeah. You foolish enough, you get that new car and drive around. Amen. Here's the keys. You sign these papers here. They make you sign no papers. Next thing you know, a car costs $6,000. You're paying $8,000, $9,000 for it. Amen. 
That ain't fair. Amen. But people live off the interest. Right. And it's compiled so much. And by them manipulating the money to such a degree, they make millions of dollars off people paying into the system and you still trying to punch that clock and make it. Yeah. And they're waiting for you to, waiting for you to mess up. Yeah. Waiting, begging for you to mess up. Yeah. Be late. That's right. Have a flat tire. That's Too it. many times. Yeah. Don't need you no more. Yeah. What about my family? Well, you your unemployment? If they don't last for about a year. And how am I going to give up unemployment? Amen. They make it so you cannot make it. That's right, man. And they are tightening that noose every single day. Yeah. Every year they tighten it. Yeah. Public structure making more money ever in history. Yeah. Yeah. And people still struggling and trying to make it from paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. And when I told you about the shallow project God gave me, it was for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you things don't get worse down the road. Yeah. Stay in holiness, stay in true life. Yeah. Don't let nobody talk you out. And the very ones who left, don't you think they're all that happy? They and don't you think that they do it so well? Because anybody can get a new car. That's right. That's right. You go down there, and sometimes you ain't got to have no good credit. That's right. Because right. they know what the repossessor man yeah. is. Right. They all want to know the address. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. The church is the only thing that will stand. And the church of God will stand. Yeah. And you are the church of the living yeah. God. And you never be ashamed of who you are. Stand up. Yes. Where you in the Lord's office, in a courtroom, or wherever. Stand up. Hallelujah. And stay in a project with you, but don't you worry. You thank God that you stay in your life. Amen. The old brothers and sisters, they were one time they had a battle, and uh, uh, God told them, said, Now, when the sun comes, I want you to break the ladder mm -hmm. and hold up against the sunlight. Amen. <laughs> and when they did it together, the reflection blinded the enemy army and they began fighting each other. So they had already planned how they were going to entrap the Israeli army and circle them and they had it all planned. Amen. But they forgot about the master plan. Amen. They had your plan going, but don't you know God had a plan going? And who's playing one? Who's playing always one? Who can never lose? Yeah. One time Israel ever lost a battle because he disobeyed God. Yeah. And then God showed him. Yeah. You disobeyed. Yeah. But he told Joshua, as I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. And don't be afraid. Yeah. Fear not. As I was with Moses, I'll be with you. Yeah. And God has been with his prophets every time. Yeah. And how the battle raises. Yeah. How it looks. God is with his prophet. Yeah. God is with his church. Yeah. Because without the church, what would God have? Amen. He got to have a church. Right. But the church got to be the church of God and not the church of the world. Amen. Church of what? Amen. When Paul said, I count everything as animal waste. Amen. Why? I'm trying to win Christ. Amen. I'm trying to impress my God. Yeah. So I'm going to count everything. Thank you so much for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker at True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker in the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. Block Talk Radio.